Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? This is Tasmia and in today's video I'll be sharing with you on how to drape and pack a silk sari for travel. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know by commenting down below. Also subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. So you'll need matching colored petticoat and a blouse along with the silk sari. Here I'm using my mom's green colored silk sari. Take the pallu end of the sari that is usually embroidered with zari weaving and start pleating it. You'll not get the perfect pleats in the first try itself. But it's okay, you can try like once or twice and you'll get it right. In order to find the perfect width for the pallu, what you have to do is fold the pallu in half. Again fold it in half and keep folding until you find that perfect width length. With the width length start making pleats and this will give you almost and nearly really nice pleats for the pallu. Once you're satisfied with how the pleats look, arrange the pleats together so that they're uniform on both sides and pin them up so that they do not move. In order to make the pleats of the same width in the entire length of the pallu, you have to arrange the pallu length and pin them up at different places. In order to get a good hold, I'm tucking the pallu on the body form, arranging the pleats on different lengths and pinning them up. What you can do is clipping the pallu end on the drawing board or on the closed door that will provide a hold. Find the perfect length for the pallu. Ideally, the pallu length should be longer than the knee or at least up to the knee length. And then pin the pleats together till the shoulder point. Coming to the other end of the sari where it has to be pleated and tucked into the waistline, tie a knot on the top end of the sari where it has to be tucked in. Tuck in the knotted end of the sari on the middle of the waistline and rotate the sari once. Take the pallu pleated end of the sari, rotate it around and put it on your shoulder so that you can get to know how much pleats has to be made. After setting the pallu length, bring the sari from the pallu to the front near the waistline and pin it up. The remaining sari length will be used into pleats. Generally there are 6 to 7 pleats. The first pleat is made of a bigger width length so that there is space for walking and the rest are of the finger length. Once the entire sari is pleated, keep the last bit of the sari and leave it inside so that there is a good shaping and then arrange the pleats so that they form one next to each other and then pin it up. Generally the next step of draping the sari is to tuck the pleats into the waistline but here 
remove the sari without removing the pins arrange the pleats of the sari and the pallu pleats together take the end of the sari and fold it along pack the sari along with the petticoat and a blouse so that it is easier to style the sari and drape it while traveling in my next video i'll share on how i styled the sari and draped it as well hope you found the video helpful thanks for watching